Hello Superherd and welcome back to Mario and Rabbids Kingdom Battle and today we're going to be continuing on forwards through world 3. Of course in the last episode we defeated the mid boss and we got ourselves a brand new companion that I want to check out right now. Of course we'll do Mario, we'll do Peach for now and we'll do Rabbit Yoshi. Rabbit Yoshi is best utilized lashing out with heavy weapons at long range. His arsenal includes melee skills, solid defense and a cool victory stance. So he has 290 health, 6 cells of movement, 20 dash damage, a primary weapon called the Rumble Bang, primary technique is Outer Shell, uh, and then some other stuff. So, pretty cool. Let's go ahead and check him out, and hopefully he works out pretty well. When it comes to the weapon selection, I have over 4,000 coins that I'm definitely going to want to use well. I will upgrade Mario's damage as much as I can, which, once again, we're going honey. I know maybe some people are like, rah, 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 zebra, don't use honey, but I'm going to use honey. Is what I'm going to do. Um... Uh, we'll, we'll we'll come back to the secondary if we need to. Uh, when it comes to you, we definitely want to get you an easy early damage upgrade. We'll definitely do stone damage because that was super cool. Uh, let's get that started. And then Peach. Peach, what do we got for you? Um, we know she has this equipped, which is 140 to 115, but she does have some damage upgraded stuff right here. So she can either do freeze or burn. Uh, I will do... Hmm, I think we'll do freeze. Okay, and then, yeah, very good stuff there. She still doesn't have an upgradable ducky, which is sort of a shame. She got all these weapon upgrades, um, and she still can't get a better ducky. But uh, who else can we do then? I think that we have a 1,000 coins left over. I can't do too much with that, because these are 1,100. So we're going to back out of here, go to our skill tree, and see what everybody can get. I know that 420 for uh, Yoshi over there is insane, but... um. What does Mario have? We have all that. Mario is actually very generously upgraded right now. I think we could upgrade the Stomp range, which is, I think, the range of movement after. So once you do that, I don't think that's as needed as dash damage right now, because getting some extra dash damage would be really, really good. So let's go ahead and get started with that. Hopefully we can get 20 more to do another upgrade soon. If we move over to... Peach, we'll just focus on the characters uh, that we're using right now. Loud motorcycles outside. I get it. Engines are loud, and you like to show it off. Uh, I feel like we need to upgrade her. I, I know we were talking about upgrading this. But we did already. And then this is healing jump range. We could increase the range. Actually, I'm always like, oh, this was one cell closer. So I think we'll do that, and then then we'll focus on increasing her distance. So 30 more orbs for not a big deal. So, hmm, what does he got? Of course, he has team jump. He has dash. This will do times three ultra dash. It allowed, ra allows Rabbit Yoshi to dash several enemies while on the move. Does he already have three dashes then? That's insane. Um, we can get him up to times four as well. But let's, let's uh, well, you know, what is the point of having a bunch of dashes if they don't do a lot of damage? Let's go ahead and get them up to at least 60 damage. At least. Actually, if we have all these points, let's make it a 90 damage dash. And then uh, we'll go ahead and do... We could do five dashes right now. That's a little insane, I think. Um, we could do cleansing jump. It's always good to have a, at least a couple characters with cleansing jump. We could have another grenade duck. We'll do that. Tossed overhead at a target for an area attack affecting all enemies within range, of course. He's such a cute little guy, too. I love him. Um, and then this is the scaredy rabbit. So the effect that was just used on us. Oh, I see. So when we were going against Calavera, he was squeezing Rabbit Yoshi, which was making him do the blonde. Enemies within range are sent running. So it's basically the opposite of Rabbit and Mario there. Don't know how much I'll use it, but it's always good to have this stuff for options later. I just love how he's just using, he's just in a little Yoshi costume. That's just so cute. Um, he doesn't have much health, so I'll definitely have to health upgrade him soon. We can make him have a lot of range, though, and I think that's more valuable, especially if he is a character that needs to stay in the back. Ooh, he can get this outer shell. Uh, make Outer Shell absorb out the two attacks in a round instead of one. I didn't even know he had, uh, yeah, he has Outer Shell here. Let's do that as well because that's very defensive. We have 10 points left over, which I can't imagine we'll be able to spend incredibly well. well. We'll get the extra pipe range. There we go. I think that's overall pretty good. We'll try our new team of Peach, Mario, and Rabbit Yoshi. And we'll see how it works. We'll see how it works indeed. Um, now, which way are we going? By the way, I actually have no clue what we're up to next. Because I just sort of, I don't know if the game showed us or if I just have a complete loss of memory. I feel like I'm going away. We've already gone before. Maybe we can go back and see if that big pearly gate is open or not. I actually don't know. 
Okay, so I think we gotta follow the coins. This is the way we're supposed to go for now. This is the big gate that got opened, but not the gate we were looking to open. Yes, that is indeed the case. Well, this place is like swampy. Every place were like spooky and Halloweeny. This place is like dank and dark. I don't like it. Uh, okay, so this is the way we're supposed to go. And there is a new mini game over there. Was there any way to go over here? Oh, we probably loop around that. Okay, I can understand that. Let's go to our mini game. Nothing in here, right? Not quite. Okay, you gotta look for those little secrets. They pop up sometimes. Let's get ourselves hopefully a new weapon through this mini game. It'll hopefully be a good one. We'll have to see. But I'm excited. I'm excited. So, uh, there's a lot going on here, but I think I see what I have to do. I need to run over here. And then, oh, oh, it tricked me. Oh, it tricked me. I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> Pick that up. Run back over here and put this on that. Press this. Wait, oh, 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 do that. Go like that. Go like this. Come on, I got two seconds left. One second left. Yeah, man, that is as close as you can get it done. Oh my gosh, I'm, I want to take it back. Oh, I can't. Oh, God. Never mind. We're just going to go ahead and get ourselves a new weapon. Awesome. Who's it going to be for? For Mario, Hydrant Hammer, extinguish your antagonists with this iconic symbol of safety and protection. Very cool, so it might be a good thing that we have an upgraded Mario secondary just yet, because maybe we'll be able to get an even better upgrade. But my goal in today's episode is to get as close as I can to the final boss of this world and see how that works out. With that being said, let's get started with World 3-6. And let's see what kind of battle we got. Double barreled, oh, no battle right away, but this is an interesting little Green painted dock. I don't know why, whoa. How do we get over there then? Is there any use to being over there? I can't pick these up, so I don't see what the use would be. This is weird. Some kind of maze. Oh, interesting. So it shows you the different kind of platforms. So, I guess it depends on where we wanna go, cause is there anything even over here? There is stuff over here actually, okay. But I can't quite get over there. Cause this blocks me off here and here. Hmm. So maybe we should try going other directions before we, like obviously that forward way is the correct way to go. So we should try all the options on the other ways first. See what else we can get to. Uh, I can go through here. That's a creepy pumpkin. This is making me get excited for Halloween. Halloween's coming up, and that's really cool. So we can get into here, and this is a silver chest, right? Or is that more of a, uh... Wait, what? Uh... I need to find a ghost block? Don't know where that could be. Maybe that's the one on the other side, because it did seem like there's an entrance on the other side, but Halloween is coming up! I know it is fun when everything's all nice and spooky, but at the same time, I'm not really a big fan of actually participating in Halloween. So I can't get it, no, never mind. Hmm. So I can't quite get across there. I do have to keep in mind that the red on the right works, but what's gonna work on the left? Definitely not yellow. Hmm. Maybe blue? Will blue work for me, or will it leave me being blue? It'll work, yay, okay, so this is gonna be some music, don't care too much then. Press that, and oh. Okay. I don't, I can't break into this stuff just yet, but how was that at all helpful? How was pressing this, like, well, what does that change? I don't really know. Hmm. Oh, I can't go back this way. Don't tell me I can't, because that'd just be silly. Oh, come on, come on. Yeah, like, what is the point of that button being there? I don't know, I don't know if there's really anything we can do. If we can't get to this one, then we can't get to the next one. The blue one is what worked for me. I'm just trying to see, why is it suggesting that I do something else? Like, why would I need to change it here? Maybe I'll figure it out once we can actually complete this puzzle properly, but we probably won't be able to do that until we complete, uh, what's it called? World uh, three entirely, so <laughs> for now, I think there's nothing more I can do. We just have to see how we can get across here, not like that. Ooh, not like that. Okay, so we have to figure something else out. 
Not yellow. It wasn't red, I don't think. Well, maybe. I don't think I've tried any other color, actually. It might be blue. It's gonna be a bit of a challenge no matter what. Even though blue already got us to the left panel, so I wouldn't expect it to allow us to do anything. Yep. Okay. So if red has already worked and blue has, but yellow does not, I'm gonna expect it to be green. Let's try green. I mean, I guess I should try this one because I, I don't want to go all the way back around if it does end up being this one. You know, it'd be silly. Yep, that's gonna raise. Go over here and... Yep, there it is. Okay, so it has to be green then. Which ain't that bad, you know, solving the puzzle in, in some ways. Not in, not in other ways, though. <laughs> Peach is happy about it, so maybe we did the right thing. Maybe she's our cue here. And... Then are we going left or right? So far, we don't have to go nowhere. Yay, okay, awesome. So, not much was accomplished there, but we did make some progress, so that could be all we need. And finally, our first battle of this level, end of the episode, we're being shot at from somewhere. Uh, oh, is that a heart? Oh, hello. Who are you? I thought we already fought our mid-boss. Oh gosh, run! It's the Valkyrie. Okay, we've been talking about this guy. Double-barreled baddies. And he shoots out of his chest. Interesting. Defeat Alm. So this guy definitely shoots back at us, probably similarly to however Rabbit Yoshi shoots. Valkyries go to great lengths to protect themselves and others. Watch for their team jump. It ends with a ground pound. Don't let them get the drop on you, literally. Also, beware their unique yet powerful shooting technique. Yeah. I need to drink some tea after that one. That one is a little uh, exhausting or something. Let's fight. Um. So yeah, one of our weapons, unless we already exchanged it, is good against this kind of stuff. Hmm, so we cut through double duckies, which is cool. There's like one ducky here, one ducky there. Hmm. What is on the other side of this pipe? Yoon. So I could slide tackle, you get a good start on that, but the problem is that we're not surrounded by a very nice company. Maybe Mario should go ahead and damage boost here, just, just, just in case. Because if Rabbit Yoshi is a sniper, he's probably gonna wanna hang back somewhere. But I also wanna try him out, so maybe we'll just slide tackle Yoon. We will wait here. And then we'll figure that out. Boom, 90 damage, that's a good start. How many health, how much health do these guys have in total then? 316. So this isn't gonna do too much. What's gonna do more damage? 84, and, so this is a range, 90 to 222. Why such a huge range? I'm not really sure, but wow, what was that? 30, 40, 50, 60, 70 damage? Yeah, looks like about. We could, let's do our uh, global damage reduction. If, we're, if we are in a bad spot, maybe that'll be what we need. Maybe we could get Peach over here. A little bit of a defensive position, but maybe, just maybe, Mario could hop off of you and hop off of you and land here. Yeah, I think this is a pretty cool spot to land. Yep. Yep. All right, 150 damage. That is so much. I love it so much, too. Okay. So, you're not gonna attack that person, but instead you're going to attack, I would say uh, this one is the best bet. Get as close as we can to taking somebody out. Things that we're not quite able to, unless we get a critical, will that be enough? It will, just barely. I think he had 170 health, we had him for 173. So we can blast this guy like this, but there's only a 50% chance of doing it. Or we can do the ducky that will guarantee if it will get hit a little bit too. We'll definitely get this set up. And then I think we'll just take our chances, and I really hope that, I mean, it will hit Mario a little bit. Actually, it won't. He's in range, but he won't get hit. Here, boom. Yeah, that missed both. Wow, Peach, wow. <laughs> Enemies, what are you gonna do? There's a lot of them, too. That's the hard part here, and I'm glad that we got that double shield on for Rabbit Yoshi, but he's more interested in Mario, but he missed too. So, so, so far, things are pretty even. Um, oh. Okay, so he has Peach's move, and he's gonna do this ground pound thing, which really hurts. Why don't we have any characters that can do that? I hope that Yoshi could do that, because that'd be a lot of fun. Oh my, whoa, and we got bounced. I guess there might be a really high chance of a critical, especially if every shot is sort of like an individual chance at that. All right, you're gonna blast him. You are only for 60 damage, but it is sure a lot better than nothing. No chance of that landing. 
Hmm. I don't like this. I can tell you that much. I don't like this one bet. Mario is definitely taking a bit of a beating, too. Hmm. Well, what could Peach do about it on? She could slide tackle this guy. Maybe we should do Peach last then. If she has so much health though, she can't reach Mario from here. Okay. Hmm. Mario, what could you do here? Slide attack you, slide attack you. Oh, I can only slide attack one character. I always forget that. I don't know why. I just am very easily forgetful of that idea. Maybe get you here and start blasting this guy? Like, maybe that's the best idea? It's really hard to say. Boom. And I hope that actually Mario might not actually be able to reach Rabbit Yoshi from here. And he can't. So he's not doing any jumping because I'm a dingus and I just can never plan ahead on anything. <laughs> Why does that always happen to me so much? I don't understand. I just don't understand how I can always forget about the same things over and over again. I'm gonna put you right here. Maybe I should have just put him closer and used a hammer, but then he would have been super vulnerable for next turn. I'm gonna do this. Mario time indeed. Who can I blast? I, I, I gotta blast this guy on the right, right? There we go. And it was a critical, so they both take the hit, which is good. Uh, Yoshi can either attack one or the other. And we gotta get rid of this dude. Hmm. We'll do this. We'll see how this works. Oh, 76. Not too bad. I'm glad they're both taking the hit, but this guy still has a lot more health left to go. And Peach just can't in like any way get over there. She could like try to hide here. Sometimes I really wish we did have a four character party. Like I feel like obviously it would be way easier. So this would only do 82 damage. Same thing with this. Hmm. Well, if it's what we got, it's what we got. Yeah, let's do this, it'll do more damage, I think. Boom. Well, he's at least low. <laughs> well, that's what we got. This is not a good start. They're, these Valkyries are really tough. The only good thing here is that they are attacking Peach. Oh, Mario, finish him all, please. 86, not enough to finish him, but he is pretty low. So he's already attacked. We still have a number of other ones to deal with though, and the critical really was that necessary? These guys are definitely gonna start coming after Peach, right? No? Hmm, you are them, you are though, and if you finish him off, or not. Wow, wow, that's actually, why, why did she bounce that way? That was weird. <laughs> okay, Um. if she goes through here, she could actually, ooh, okay, options, options. Um. First off then, who can, what, what can you do here? And you can do that, you can do that, and then maybe you could just chill out here. I don't know how far Peach can go from the pipe, so I guess this is a safe spot. Just like that. And then, before we worry about that, Peach is gonna go through the pipe. She's gonna slide attack him, bounce off of Yoshi, a rabid Yoshi, and heal this Mario dude, whoever he might be. Obscure Nintendo character Mario over here. Okay, and land that. 70 health is good. It's not as much as I need, I need a lot more. I mean, really, what should I do here, though? Because I could have Mario, you know, go super crazy in here, but obviously I don't think it's the best idea in the world. I mean, what I could have Mario do, actually, is slide attack him, attack this dude, and that would definitely get rid of the one. Let's give it a shot, boom. So that's gonna be shared damage, and if we hammer this guy, it is most certainly gonna take care of the other guy as well. So, boom, yeah, this is gonna do it. Yes, yes, a critical, that's exactly what I needed here. And it will get rid of, wait, why didn't it get rid of his friend? Hold on, what? How did that not work? All right, well maybe, and then we get the critical. That is a crazy critical for sure, but not well timed. What the heck? I don't understand, why didn't that hit his friend? Isn't that how the move works? No? You just decided to change the rules on me? Mario's gonna die here because of bogusness, and you can still attack. Oh my gosh, that is really dumb. That is like really dumb. Ugh, Cause we're about to win too. Why didn't that work? I don't understand. Oh well, it's something we could do later. I'm not sweating it too much now. 
Even though we could get more coins if we perfect it. <laughs> uh, there's stuff we just have to go back and do anyways. I'm probably gonna do the World 2 challenges after this, that way, uh, I mean after this world, of course. I thought that maybe I could get him closer than this. We actually might have really messed up here. Um, or we'll just have to wait an extra turn, which is just totally stinky. I don't like this guy. He's just gonna attack Peach and then his turn is gonna be over. But of course, he can land all of this and that and some more. Here, get through here and I'm just gonna slide tackle you and finish you off. Man, that is so stinky. Like, I'm so, I'm not gonna get over that. I'm not gonna get over that, I'm gonna be super salty. And that should be everybody down, right? Yay! Mario, don't celebrate. We did fair, we even took one extra turn. But if it worked correctly, that would have been fine, I think. Well, I mean, it would still take us an extra turn, but, ugh. Frustration, frustration. We'll be stronger the next time we show up here and, and we'll get it done properly. And for now, I got a bunch of coins to get because that'll help me. And that didn't heal anybody either, which means we have another battle to go. And we can't switch out Mario. Man, and it's right here too. Battle HQ, what can we do about this? I need to change up my team. I don't think this composition works very well. We'll try this, I guess. <laughs> what more can I do? Um. We'll give it a shot. I don't think it's anything Rabbit Yoshi's fault. I just don't, I need to learn how to take on Valkyries. And that was a tough position to learn how to take them on. I guess learning the hard way is a way of learning. Um, I think we're good though. We can uh, get started with this fight. Hmm. I mean, I, I should have taken a second to look at the enemies. We got a Ziggy right here. We have another Ziggy here. We have a Valkyrie up there. A Smasher here. A Valkyrie here. Man, there are so many enemies. We have to defeat every single one of them. Okay. Game's real tough at this point. Don't know if you've noticed. So I could actually, first off, get you to heal everybody. Plus 40% HP. 140 health is actually a lot. Okay, that's good. Maybe we should maybe we should have Rabbit Peach around more often. Hmm. Well, once again, we want Rabbit Yoshi to be the one hiding in the back area for the most part, especially if somebody needs to chill with Mario. Maybe we should have done Rabbit Mario too. Like, I want to show off, of course, Rabbit uh, Yoshi in today's episode, but if I don't have the health to do it, I just don't have the health to do it. Maybe I put him here. Chances of somebody hitting him from here are decent at best. And it takes care of one Ziggy, so that's good. We could get Mario to do this. I don't know if that'll actually change anything. He can't hit anybody from here for sure. And then maybe we could get her to go ahead early. Who can she get from here? Like one Ziggy. We really need to upgrade her damage. Maybe I should have, if we were to play Rapid Peach, I probably should have upgraded her. <laughs> Today has not been a well thought out episode so far. Can you get a crit? Yes, you can, look at you. Not gonna do too much more than that, but uh, can you rubber ducky from there? You can't, we need to increase that range. That rubber ducky range needs to be a little bit better, buddy. Oh my, that is a lot of booze. A lot of booze, I forgot they were even there. They're so sneaky. So I think he's gonna get closer. Luckily, there are a couple of Ziggies, which does make everything a bit easier. You missed. But he's gonna do his little dance, which he loves to do, because he's a Ziggy. Okay, and is that all who's gonna move? Oh, there, there's a Smasher, and then we have a Valkyrie or two. Mario's gonna blast at least one of them, which is good, 84 damage is something. These guys have like a lot of defense. The critical is ridiculous, but uh. You're gonna miss Toon, but you have destroyed the shield for, you know, whoever wants to use it next turn, I guess. Hmm. I know I'm gonna get blasted for moving like this, but you know what, it's fine. Uh, I wish you could keep going, but uh, this is my best move right now. Yeah, you're gonna blast me, the other one's gonna blast me too, or not. I don't know what happened to the other one. He's right here, he didn't, he didn't wanna attack me, okay. Hmm. How do I want to do this then? Maybe I've made some grave mistakes here. I think it'll just be good to blast the Ziggy down. And that doesn't make that doesn't make the Smasher mad. So it seems like you if you know you use that defensive move, it will never hurt the host of it. I mean it'll it'll never hurt the people that it's used on if it only hits I don't know how to explain that. <laughs> I have no clue how to explain that. 
Um, can I go through here and then through here? Wow, you get a lot of movement with this. Hmm, I just don't know who I want to hit. I guess it would be smarter to hit you. You know, I'm definitely gonna take a beating afterwards. I don't know, we've been put in a very difficult spot because of how much damage Mario took the previous round. That really took a lot out of me. And of course, why did, I don't understand, why did Mario get hit there but Peach doesn't? And now I can't do the damage boost. I can do the damage boost but I can't do anything else. So it's not worth doing. I can move over to Rabbit Yoshi. You can see what kind of moves he wants to do. I mean, anything ground changing or ground breaking or whatever, probably not. Uh, I definitely want one of these two. Do maybe I'll, I'll put them super close to this master. That way, uh, we could potentially have him attack him instead of Mario. That would be good. Like here, I don't know. Maybe that's a silly spot. Well, we'll figure it out. That's yeah, that's definitely a silly spot. Uh, <laughs> we're gonna redo this one. I have a feeling we're gonna redo this one. This is this area is so difficult. It's just so challenging. Hmm, definitely activate the shield now before something ridiculous happens. And then, this or that. Now we gotta do this, even if it, if it just chances hitting Mario, that's too, like something I don't wanna take. That's a lot of damage right there. Almost enough to take him out. Why didn't I damage boost, why? <laughs> I could've taken him out if I damage boosted. Oh my gosh, yeah, I'm really bad at the game. That's really all it is. It's not that the game is bogus. It's not that, you know, these enemies are too tough. It's just I'm bad at the game. <sighs> See, this guy is gonna attack, which is great, because it just means, you know, it's something we don't have to. Well, no, he did actually get damaged, Jaren. What happened to the whole idea of him having a shield? Okay. If you say so. That's not how it works when the Ziggies pull out that shield. The bouncers, whoever pulls out the shield normally. And where are you running off to, buddy? I don't know, but I'm gonna have somebody following. That's for sure. All right, well now I'll have the opportunity to damage boost everyone that's in range. So how do I wanna handle that? Maybe I could just do that, jump over here and like land here. And, or I could land over there, but that's not gonna be helpful for me if I'm damage boosting everybody. I mean, I don't know then, maybe, I, maybe I'll maybe i be lucky and I don't need Rabbit Peach to damage boost to take care of this guy, probably not. Land here and then blast him. Hopefully, hopefully. <laughs> and then let's just deal with everybody else then. He's mad about it. Uh, Let's do this. Yes! Let's, uh, I'm definitely gonna hammer him. I definitely think I need to, like to take him out. It, like if we do hammer him, it should get it. And it also clears any effect we had on us, which is great. Didn't realize we had an effect on us, but uh, I'm glad that if we did, the uh, situation is now soft. Hmm, the only problem is that I just don't have a clear shot at this guy any which way, unless I use the rubber ducky. So I might as well just hide him somewhere safer, like here. And then don't worry about that worry about him, and maybe just we'll get lucky and all in the critical that'll at least hold him back for a bit. Uh, of course not. Again, so you are gonna, I didn't mean to do that, but if it works, it works, and then we get the honey critical. And then Peach, Rabbit Peach, blasts this dude. I'm gonna be teleported somewhere here in a Rabbit Peach is. Don't know where, and, and this can scare him away, but Oh yeah, that might work. Ah, just pushes him that way. <laughs> we got the try it, so that's interesting. Uh, where's she gonna go? Right here, that's not too bad actually. Worse spots, there are definitely some worse spots. So we just gotta take care of this one Valkyrie. That won't be so hard at all. We just need the opportunity. Oh no, well, see you. I didn't know you had so low health. Will that be enough to take you out? It will. I love this game right now, and it loves me. Can't believe I let that slip through my hooves. It's pretty it's pretty easy for me to do that. Uh, we'll do that. We're just gonna ruin this dude's whole day if we can. I can't land on him, so he's more more so ruining my day. We'll just land here then. And between these two, we should still be able to take him out. If I blast him, I'll, I'll just spec with the hammer. 
Smack you with a hammer! But actually, I don't think Rabbit Peach can hit him from here. Well, she can. She just have to do this. Okay, do it. <laughs> I hope this is the last battle of this this level. I don't know. Will we get a heal? Will we get a heal? We got a good. We could have gotten a perfect then, but it's already too late. That okay? I was gonna say that isn't it. There's more. There's not. Okay, this is going rough so far. I'm learning how to use Rabbit Yoshi and I'm just not having a good chance or shot or anything. 900 coins, 25 power orbs, he's chasing his pants. I feel like I'm chasing my pants every day but I can never quite catch him. Weapon selection. We now have a little bit more coins to buy either an upgraded hammer or something else. So this does the same amount of damage but it does do more damage against bucklers which I like so we'll do that. Awesome. Uh, who should we be saving up for next? If we're gonna keep doing stuff with Rabid Peach, definitely Rabid Peach. I don't know if we should still be doing stuff with Rabid Peach. I feel like we do need to make a team of, for right now, Mario, Rabid Mario, and the problem is there's no healing in that. That's the hard part. Um, I don't know then. I guess maybe we should keep with this team. Skill tree, because uh, Mario has some decent points here. We can upgrade his uh, range again once we had the chance. Uh, Rabbit Peach, once again, she has a bunch of stuff, so we can either upgrade her damage or her dash. Let's do 60 here. So now she's up to um, our three dashes. We'll increase the damage of the dash as much as we can. And then we should probably save for her to have stronger healing. Maybe we should have done that in the beginning. <laughs> uh, but Mega Heal, Heal Range. Well, it's fun to have you know a smaller heal range. We definitely need to upgrade the heal. It can go all the way up to 70% then, interesting. Okay, well, now we know what we're doing next. Or maybe what we should have done from the beginning. Who knows? Um, Improves outer shell ability to absorb movement-based damage like dash. Hmm, that's not too bad, plus 10% there. And let's do that. And that's about all we can do. Could have been better, could have been worse, to be honest. Let's go up here. So now we're on to the next level, which will be like, what, 3-7? Hopefully we can get to the final boss of World 3. If not, we'll do it next episode and then, you know, probably clean up some of World 3, try to perfect more of it. Not really sure what'll happen in that way, but let's take a look at you guys. Hi! These are, ew, what if they catch them? Uh, I don't know, they'll have a good time. Who knows? Okay, what's happening here? Uh, oh gosh, look up! It's not only looking scarier, now it sounds awful too! Uh, oh no. <laughs> She's taking the pictures. Uh, well, I don't think it's inviting us over for hot cocoa and lemon bars. In fact, I think it's inviting us to do just the opposite, whatever that is. It feels like it's watching us, biding its time while it grows in power. All the more reason to get Mr. Tom Fan as quickly as possible. Indeed it is. That is not pleasant, that thing is huge. I hope that like the final boss is like in that or like the final area or something. I mean, I know the final area is probably gonna be like a lava. We sort of had a little sneak peek of it when we got lost at Peach's castle in like the first or second episode. But we're going around somewhere now. Uh, This looks like a maze, so maybe we will complete a maze or what is this? There's just so much to explore. I never know what which one's the right one to do. Oh, look at this. Okay, maybe we're supposed to go up here. Cool. We can go across to here and take a pipe downwards. Ah, interesting. I can grab this. I can't in any way get out from here. So now that I'm now that I've grabbed that, what what can I do with that? I could uh get down here and put it here and and go through, oh, there's World Force, or 3-7. So we'll try to figure that out soon, but in the meantime, maybe I need to get up somewhere again? Can't go that way. This thing is being chained down. Spooky, look at this big old vine. Ooh, that's a big thorn bush. Let's hope we don't have to tangle with that thing later. Okay. Oh, okay, uh, I don't know which way I'm going still. So this is like a really big maze. Those mazes we saw in the first world were just sort of child's play compared to this. This thing is just, it keeps going. That's sort of the crazy thing about it. I don't really, really know where I'm going because I can't get like a full view of it. Can we get across here? 
We cannot. But we can get across here. And then, wherever there's these marks on the ground, the dirt, as if, you know, it's being pulled back in and out of the dirt, the soil is fresh. And that is the idea, because it's true. We can plop down here, though. And I guess use the yellow one, the sun over here. And do that. And where can we find another one, then? Probably on this side. This guy's playing a little tune. I like it, I like it. A bit of a musical. Ooh, here's a secret. Not a crazy one, but not a not crazy one. Got spirit, you found a new tarot. Can't wait to check out all these tarots. A tarot carrot. It's not what it is. Um, Very wary about where I'm going and where I should be. But there is another little path up here, so this definitely isn't the wrong way. Wherever there's coins, that means you know something can happen. Can go across to here and there's probably gonna be another statue soon. Yep, there's another one. I think I know where I'm using that. I think it's across there. And so it looks like it sets it up so that you can pick it up, then go back over here, plop. Oh, wait, 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 before I do, grab that. That is, ooh, more power orbs. Five of them. Not bad. I think I need like 10 for Marion. So we're halfway there with that one. And then there should be another thing to place down here. Okay, there we go, so we did solve it. I don't know if we solved everything the best way possible, but we did solve it. I feel like there's probably more secrets to uncover. I mean, I hope not, because that's easier for me, but I have a feeling that's the case. So we're gonna move back this way. And we're good to go, world three, seven. Purple banner, every treasure has its thorn. Oh yeah, that is the truth. Let's get started. Well, yeah, we have a combo of characters we haven't been using too much, especially one of them, because it's brand new. Oh my, this is actually a little crazy. So we have to defeat all seven characters here? Already as prepared for battle as I think we'll be able to be. Hmm. We have a smasher here. Oh no, these are bucklers, okay. Bucklers here, Valkyrie there. A Valkyrie, Hopper, Valkyrie, so one Hopper. Hmm. And it looks like you can't really shoot across from here. Hmm. Lots of options then. Definitely wanna get you, I wanna try to use Rabbit Yoshi as a bit more of a farther behind character this time. We can maybe get like, Rabbit Peach out, no she can't, she can't jump that far. I guess, I don't know if it's that you can't jump this far or if this doesn't count for whatever reason. Hmm. I'll try to hide her here because the bucklers on the right, they're not gonna be able to hit us from this range, I don't think. I don't think they have that much of a gunshot range. Maybe we could have Mario like here, but that is a bit of a danger. Hmm, maybe here would be better. Just slow advances, nothing crazy really. I mean, I still can't believe on the Valkyrie one, we we ran out of turns, we didn't do it in the recommended amount of turns. That was pretty crazy, in my opinion. I don't think anybody can hit anybody then. Best we can do is set up this, but if we're gonna set up this, I think we should set it up on a uh, on a buckler because it just makes the most sense there. So we should be upgrading this thing. If it's gonna go ahead and do that kind of stuff for us, we should definitely get it upgraded. But these guys work pretty well together, that's cool to see. They can't do the ground pound. Oh, Mario got hit there. That's not good. Hmm. So this Smasher is moving. He's on the move. I I, I forget that they can move sometimes, which is weird. <laughs> I shouldn't have, wow, that was a lot of damage, dude. It was a critical too. Yeah, these guys have a really high chance of criticaling things, which I don't appreciate. You might actually destroy it. Please don't. I worked hard on getting that set up. He is gonna destroy it. All right, I guess better that than other things. Well, if these guys are gonna be so close, then heck yeah, we're gonna go beat the, beat up those guys first. Cause how many, how much health did they have? 300 almost? Oh my gosh. A little crazy, don't you think? A little crazy, don't you think? This, this world is so difficult, I don't know what to do about it anymore. Oh my gosh. Stop. It's all so mean to me. We're gonna heal everybody. Ah. I'm gonna pick up a bunch of coins. Like they did everything they possibly could to circumvent my plans there. And they succeeded very well. 
And then we'll maybe land. I mean, I gotta walk all the way up here and to damage these smashers. I just don't know if that's a good idea or not. I think we need to power upgrade everybody. Oh, there's so many things that could go wrong. So many things that could go wrong. I mean, I could stay here. I might get bounced, but I guess it's a risk I'm willing to take for some reason. Before I attack that guy, can Mario get from here and land on one of these guys? He can. And then I guess he could land, where do I want him to land? I could have him land here and, and do a hammer, and that could take care of like one and a half of them, so that'd be good. Let's try that out. Boom, boom, boom. The Valkyries, if they're going to land criticals like every time, wow, and that still doesn't take him out. Unless we land a lucky crit too. Yes, okay. Pretty lucky critical there. Enough to take him out? No. No, no, no. We get we get we can't get that lucky. Uh well maybe Rabbit Yoshi could not hop off of her. Great. But from here, from here he'll be able to throw the grenade. I hope. If not, I'll be very disappointed in Rabbit Yoshi. I don't know, I just feel like maybe I'm not good enough with Rabbit Yoshi to make all this work. This will hit Mario, but this won't. The problem is that it'll shield, so we gotta do this. Okay, do this. Sorry, Mario. Okay, well, it didn't hit him too bad. We'll shield up. We could blast Dune. It really isn't viable to hit any of these guys, so we'll go ahead and blast Dune. For not much damage at all, but we need to get it done. Oh, this is so difficult. Like, I really hope that we can get better at the game through like, the World 2 challenges, and by completing World 3, maybe we can get a bunch of perks that can really help us play better, because right now, we are taking a huge beating. Like, a huge beating. Like, in every single battle, dude, we just can't handle it. Oh, well, at least he hit his friends, right? That's, that's a perk, right? Okay. Yeah, Mario's done for already. If that's it, I need to redo it. There's no way I'm gonna be able to take care of, what, five, six characters with two? That's not gonna happen. I'll try it one more time with this combo, and if it doesn't work, then I think we have to try something else. I don't think we can keep going with Rabbit Yoshi. Like, maybe he'd be more practical and, like, more levels coming up, or maybe in, like, World 4, and he's just not here yet? Weapon selection, can we upgrade Rabbit Peach at all? Not really. I mean, like, we could, but it won't be any better, but soon enough we can get her to like a 105, or 95 to a 105, which would be nice. All right, well, if that's all we have to look forward to, it is. It's just so hard, like, because it seems like you want to have a variety of characters you're trying out at any given point in time, depending on the strategy you need, but there's no way you're gonna earn up that many coins to be able to keep everybody up to their most recent weapon. So I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Maybe I should be using the same team of three the entire playthrough. I just don't really know at this point. I'm gonna get a Rabbit Yoshi back here. And then I guess I'll get like, Peach, Rabbit Peach like here. And would this be farther? It would be a little bit farther, which is what I want. And then Mario can hang back a little bit. Maybe the goal, the trick for this one is to wait for them to come to us. And if that's the case, we're, we're making the right moves to begin with. So you're gonna go ahead and bounce over here. And you'll try to bounce, or attack her. Didn't really work out very well. I don't like how these guys can move closer. It's just not fun to deal with. But they move in little groups. But maybe this really is the thing we wanna do is we wanna wait for them to come to us. So far, they're wasting a lot of their turns. Will this one land? It will. Finally, they landed one. But there's still yet another Valkyrie. It's insane. Like, maybe we just don't want to attack when they're all shielded like this as well, but what else do we do? Hmm. Like, if I do this now, they will be able to deal with it. I feel like I really just, if they're all shielded, that's only gonna last this turn? 
and they're gonna receive less damage taken. I mean, maybe I should have still attacked. I should have just, I don't know, maybe that was a little bit wasteful. Ugh, it's so hard to decide sometimes. It's really, really difficult. But all three of these guys are gonna be able to attack Rabbit Peach. So yeah, I've made a mistake. I just, I don't think this team is working out. I think I just gotta stick with what I know, which would probably just be Mario, Rabbit Mario, and Peach. Because then now they can all just blast her and, and she's gonna get destroyed. Oh my gosh. Yeah, now we have no defenses too, which is gonna be really hard. Like, I don't, I don't understand how, when, when did this jump so far in difficulty? It just sort of happened after we defeated the mid boss last episode. Just like, okay, game is impossibly tough now. Good luck. All right, Rabbit Peach, can you do anything? Oh no, she's already taken out. Oh, okay, yeah, we're done for. So once again, I think that we have no choice but to start things out defensively. I mean, we just can't get out far enough. Like, I could jump off of Mario here and, and just like be totally out in the open and get destroyed. I just, I, you have to, you absolutely have to start things defensively because they're too far away. Unless we were like Luigi and double person jumps, but once again, we'd have at least one character out in the open and you don't want, Ma and you don't want a character like Luigi who has such little health to just be like face first in front of a couple Valkyries. It just doesn't seem like a good idea. We'll activate this for Mario. And I think we'll finish it off with that and see what these guys do. I would love to take care of the, uh, the shield dudes first, but I don't think that's gonna work. Mario's gonna blast this guy, so at least gonna get rid of his shield and honey him, which, okay, the honey does work. That's at least good, right? I'm glad to see the honey works. These guys are just gonna beef each other up, which hopefully, you know, is for not, because it only lasts one turn. All these effects usually only last one turn. Problem now is that we just have to deal with it. Okay, and he's gonna slam there, but luckily, see, this is what I've been waiting for, is him to at least try to put himself into a bad situation, you know? Okay, and well, and now it's just, we don't have any cover, and at least not over here, and I think Rabbit Mario should run over this way. Ooh, that was a weird noise. Um, Peach should do that, hop over Mario, land next to Rabbit Mario to heal him up for hopefully like 70 health, Boom, 64. Okay, close enough to 70 health. She could blast this, but she'd also be hurting Mario, so first maybe we should uh do this, jump off of you, land not really anywhere, and then just, you know, would have been getting destroyed by the uh, shield dudes again. Maybe here, maybe we could damage boost people like this too. What the see? Uh, it will work. Maybe now's our best bet then. All right, uh, who can he attack from here? Just about nobody. You, let's blast you then. Boom, right in your face. And then, I definitely want Peach to attack this one. Finish him off. And then, we'll get her hero sight set up. And we still have probably a couple more levels to go. This is gonna be a long episode at this point. Uh, we don't really have too much more we can do besides shoot at this guy, maybe destroy his armor before it destroys ours, but I forget that it destroys the one right in front of him, so that was pretty much an awful idea. And might as well do this, it might help. Might not. Oh boy. So Bouncer's gonna be a little more protective this time, but, ooh, okay. These guys are just gonna, I don't like how close they're moving though. I really don't like how close they're moving. Please bounce them, please just, yeah, bounce them away. He can hit Mario from there though, guarantee you. But he won't. But he is taken out already! Why does everybody just made out of a piece of paper? I don't understand. Are we playing Mario and Ravage or are we playing Paper Mario because everybody breaks like a piece of paper in this game all of a sudden? I don't understand <laughs> why it got so difficult. It's so confusing to me. Stop, stop. <laughs> what do I do? Like what combo of characters is gonna work for a level like this? I just don't understand. We can't stay back. We can't go forward. Where's the in the middle? I don't understand. I don't wanna go over here because there's no cover there. As Mario, I might be able to do like something, but not a whole lot. I could just stand here and hope that I don't take too much of a beating. 
Because we took care of like, what, one enemy? Yeah, we took care of one enemy. I can do this. And then, uh, yeah, I have no clue. I don't know if I'm doing something wrong, if I've just been sort of getting lucky the entire game and in reality I haven't had any kind of grasp on how to play the game correctly and it is just completely over my head. I don't understand, because it just seems like I was doing just fine in World 3. But now these last couple levels, I just can't get by without lose, losing at least one character. And now I can't even destroy one person without losing a character. And that's just like, I can't handle that because we're still inked. Or at least Peach is still inked. So maybe she could run up here and and then Mario could do something about this. Oh, nope. Okay, we gotta restart again. I don't know what I'm gonna do, but it can't be this. I just, I, I have no clue. I wanna start with this. We're doing a different combo of characters. I'm gonna keep trying different stuff until it works. 60 damage each there is really good. I wish I had the extra 100 coins I need to, uh, Upgrade that, but I do not, so I'm not gonna worry about it. I could use uh, this, but I think I'll need it next turn, so instead, maybe I could, man, it's like it's both too far and too short for a lot of stuff. I don't understand this map, too. I feel like more than anything, this map is what makes it so gosh darn difficult. It's so difficult. Like, if this, you know, empty section that's between us and this bouncer right now was instead like a high ground, I think this would become significantly easier. Right now, this is so gosh darn challenging and I don't know how to make my way around it. If it was just like I get to the end, but we gotta destroy these guys somehow. Obviously, we can't destroy them because they just get way too defended by the Valkyries. So you might think, okay, I gotta figure out how to stay away from them and just take care of the Valkyries, but apparently I can't do that either. Ouch, and then they just destroy our cavern so quickly, like there's no way I can stop them and destroy them in that amount of time. So what exactly can I do to put a stop to it? Yeah, it beats me. I could put you here and I don't really know if that's a good idea to put you there. And maybe I should, uh, I really don't know. Actually, I really truly do not know what I should do about all of this. Um, I really, really don't know. I guess that's fine. Obviously, I don't want any of my characters to get inked, just because that's more of an inconvenience and less of a chance of things working out. No way I'm hitting any of those guys. I need to either focus on him or the other one. Maybe now it's good to do this? Probably. Because I don't know if I'm gonna have the chance to heal him this turn. I do want to slide attack him, and then would Bouncing off of you be better or worse? It really wouldn't be any different. Then maybe I just wanna use Peach first. And then land, I don't know if I want her to land here. And, Cause those guys are gonna start attacking. They're getting closer and closer. And I just, I can't get away from them. It's insane. I just, no matter how hard I try, I just, I can't get away from this dude. These dudes, it's just too much. Then I'll slide tackle you one more time. I'll actually take you out, which is good and then have you land like here, and maybe I could just take your spot, and that could be helpful. I don't know if I wanna do that per se, because we could have Peach blast him from way over here, and, and it's something, at least, you know, Rabbit Luigi is getting his health back that way, even if it is temporarily, right? Hmm. Because Peach could do this, I just, it won't do too much right now because of that shield. Because they are damage reduced, even if they end up, uh. That's a 0% right there. So Mario can't hit anybody now. We might as well do that. And I guess destroy some of this guy's shield if we're not doing anything. We might as well try to just do something. Ooh, okay. Uh, I think we still need to attack this guy. Who can do more damage to him? Probably, an, ooh. Okay, so that's good. Getting a little bit of luck. Luck definitely helps. It's saying, oh, we can finish this guy off, but it doesn't have the X on his head because we missed. We're the best in the world at this game, you saying. We'll lower your guys' attacks because it'll just you know give a lower chance of us getting destroyed this turn. Okay, Mario, blast this dude. Just ruin his day. Okay, 88 damage is not day ruining, but at the worst here, they might bounce each other away. They're gonna bounce Peach away, that's for sure, but she's the healthiest one. 
So that's okay. The problem is that these guys are all gonna do the same thing. And it's like, what do I do to prepare for that? I don't really know. Like, This is the part where I start running into a wall because we're gonna lose 100 health every single time. Ouch. Did she just get taken out? Because I need her not to get taken out. She's gonna get taken out. What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? <laughs> I don't understand. I don't get it. I can hit you, get some vampire health back, and then who can I bazooka? You bozos. I'm bazooka, bazooka ing you. There you go. That's something. I guess really the idea is that we want to use these blocks to our. No, I didn't mean to do that. All right, Mario. This is gonna be a sacrificial mission. We're gonna damage boost you, and this is gonna be the ultimate sacrifice. Mario, hold on tight, buddy. Let's go. Bah! <laughs> oh, that didn't destroy the block. Oh, okay, that was actually a lot less anti uh, That was a lot more anticlimactic than I was expecting. Um, there's still this bozo over here. I really hope not the rest of the levels of the world are like this, or I'm gonna lose my mind. Cause this is just not too fun. It's nice when they ex explode each other, but that just, I can't control that. It's a very uncontrollable factor. Okay. Who can I do what to? This would take you out, then I can bounce off of you, land here, destroy you. See, it's just we need to hold out for like an extra turn or two and then it becomes very easy. And this is so hard. <laughs> oh my gosh. I mean, of course, I always listen to all the uh, tips and tricks you guys give me as much as I can. Well, now we get some criticals. I could have used more criticals earlier, but I'll do what I can with them. So now that even if this guy does survive, there's no way he's gonna take us both out. Yeah, because we're not gonna be able to finish him here. Oh, well, we tried. And that's our turn. But yeah, I mean, obviously, seeing how these days, ever these videos are a couple days late, I try to record a couple of them at once. There, just get out of here. Just get out of here. I think there might actually be another battle to this level, though. If it does, I'm so, like, I've lost faith in ever doing well in this game. Yup, that is insane. Like, I'm disappointed that that is how it happens. Like, come on. I don't understand. I just, I don't understand. Let's get across to here and, and there's a lot of places to go, but none of them seem to be the correct way unless we wrap around. Ooh, what's up here? Ooh, a free prize. Okay, that was a cool one. Pretty easy one, too. Get some music out of there. There's some coins up there. Not so wild about the coins, but I mean, I'll take them if I can get them. Yeah, sure. Ooh. Extra coins are gonna be uh, something that helps in the long run. So, there's a mushroom up there. I need to find out how to get that mushroom. Like, I need it. I need it, I need it, I need it. It's not up there, and it's over here. So which which one, which of my team members are low on health right now? I think everybody else is full. Oh. Looks like it. All right, well, I might as well heal these two. We really need Mario to be healed here. Peach, I mean, I guess we'll just probably choose somebody besides Peach. We'll just probably replace Pe Peach with Rabbit Peach. So we'll do, no, that's not what I did. Uh, no, undo Yoon, do you and Yoon. Yep. I really can't do too much more. We won't be hitting very hard. That's sort of another thing is that we just won't be hitting very hard unless we get some really good uh, dash opportunities. But we might not. So, battle number two, and 370 defeats seven enemies. It just keeps going, it's the gift that keeps on giving. We got a shield, dude, we got two smashers. Is that all we're gonna deal with at first? Because that's not too bad. If it's just, you know, I'd rather have like one, two, three enemies that are really tough to deal with than like all seven of them, of them at once because they're all difficult to deal with at this point. I didn't wanna do that. I don't think we can actually do anything right now, so we're just gonna go ahead and get our battle started. So first off, we need to do this first. I just can't work my way around it. Get Mario back up to 231, which isn't all that awful. Then maybe we could get like, where, where does the pipe lead? Whoa, way over here. That's actually not too bad. Cause that can, you know, we can work against these guys and being able to have like one over here and then two on the other side or vice versa in whatever way is gonna be really helpful. Okay. Well, we'll see what we can do about it. 
She can go out this far. I don't think we could have Mario jump. Well, we could if we do it right. So, let's hit him down. Nice, so it was critical. I mean, that's good and bad, good and bad. We can get you through. Have you jump off of Hearn and have you land, I guess around here is not too bad. Not too far, not too close. And then I wanna get one of these guys over so we can just do a lot of damage to him. So maybe we could hit Yoon. I might as well hit you with this then. Just like that. And that actually did a critical as well, so nobody's moving. <laughs> that is bizarre, really bizarre. No, every time? Am I gonna do that every time? Am I the worst player of this game? Uh, why, why, I didn't mean to do that. Wow, he got like pinballed. He was just bouncing all around there. That literally just turned this into something decent to something in like really bad straights right now. Like we are not doing so well now because of how low Mario's gonna be. Okay, so I will do that, but first I need to not do it. Maybe I should just blast one of these guys. They're not critical anymore, so it might just be easier to. Like I could do this and then they'll move over and they'll do whatever they wanna do. Uh, Cause then we can get, I wish I could hit both of them at once with this, but I guess we'll just do this instead. And you're gonna get critical again. They must have, of course, some increased effectiveness to uh, smashers, which I'm not complaining about, but it couldn't have come as a at a worse time, I gotta be honest. All right, well, would this even be worth it? Probably not, because we can't attack anymore. So I just will slide tackle Yoon. Go over here and jump off of you, I guess, because we can't do our jump either. So that actually really closes the door on a lot of options I wanted to accomplish here. Um, Get you out of here, 40 damage is 40 damage, no matter how we get it accomplished. This pipe is gonna be our lifeline on surviving here, then. It just brings you some, from one side of the map to the other, it's gonna be huge. So we'll do this. No need to damage upgrade because we've already attacked with most of the other characters. Hmm. Well, if he's not gonna move this turn, I'm not gonna worry about him. I'd rather focus on him. And now both of these guys have been critical every single time. No need to do anything. This guy's gonna pop up. He's gonna be another shield dude. I don't mind dealing with like two shield dudes at once as long as we can actually handle it. I wasn't expecting him to go through the pipe down. I'll be honest. Oh, Mario's gonna blast him now. Get out of here, you jerk, honey. No, honey, I'll out. <laughs> what is he, okay, I thought he was just gonna face towards the wall, be like, okay, I give up, you can beat me. Wow, wow, that was actually not good. Can the Smasher hit him from there? Probably not. Don't go through that pipe. Okay, thank you. And there's two more popping up, so we need to stay quick with this. We need to stay snapping. All right, you're just gonna get hit. You're gonna get mad and move where now, here? Don't hit Mario, thank you. That's gonna take him out guaranteed, which is nice. Um, wish we could do a little bit more with him. But if that's all we can do, it's all we can do. I don't know where Rabbit Peach is right now. Uh, Rabbit Peach, where art thou? Thou art over here. Not really the best, I, can, I, I gotta be honest, to be over here, but maybe I could get you like here. 70 damage is a pretty good dash, I'll be honest. Two, multiple honesties happening here. A combination of honest situations. Okay, so we can't hit that guy regardless, so I might as well go about here, and I'm hoping that this damage boost will hit everybody. I mean, if that's the case, uh, it doesn't need to hit Rabbit Luigi if he's just gonna take out 10 health of a smasher. Doesn't matter, doesn't matter, doesn't matter. I'd rather than do this, and then Rabbit Peach. Your best bet here. Boom, critical. Thank you for meeting your potential. Let's get this shield ready, because I think we're gonna need it. And then Rabbit Luigi, you just attack this dude, finish him off the three health, not even 10 health, three health. You get the critical like every single time now. Okay, I think he was a smasher who got critical to every turn. More smashers soon. As long as we keep getting that critical luck, this will work out. This will definitely work out. So he's gonna get closer and he will attack Rabbit Luigi, and then 
That crit chance is just destroying me. All right, we need to get them all to run. We need to get them all through this pipe, get them to sort of regroup here. And I wish this guy was ever so slightly closer. Of course, it's how it always is. Um, I don't know what's gonna happen when we get across to here, but we're gonna try. And hopefully I don't die. Where can we get you? I guess here's not bad. Then we just need Mario to hop off Rabbit Peach and get some cool stuff done. 150 damage is a lot right now and I need it to work, so hopefully it does just that. So, Mario, you're over here. You're gonna go through the pipe. We're not gonna mess that up this time. You're gonna jump off of him and then maybe land on this dude. The only problem is that he might not get healed from here. I think he has the most health out of the three though. Ironically enough, because he started with the least. Let's see, boom. No, 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 Rabbit Luigi still has much more. Oh, we can't even heal this turn. All right, well then. Hmm. We'll definitely lower their health, or lower their damage. Then, Mario needs them to be close together so we can hit this hammer. He can't hit the closer one though, so. That critical though was actually really lucky, but now he's mad, so he's gonna smash. Boom, 81. And it's, it hit his friend though, which is like the most beneficial thing out of it. I can't do that. Mario's gonna die here. Mario's definitely gonna get taken out. But we critical him. Good. And then finish him off, I guess. Boom. Mario is definitely still gonna get taken out. We were so close to perfecting this, but this uh, shield guy is just gonna turn around and blast. Like, what else would he do? Unless we get incredibly lucky and the shield here, and, yeah, he's just gonna reposition. Why wouldn't he? Mamma Mia, indeed. That's what I've been saying this entire episode. Mamma Mia. How many more do we have to defeat? Two more. So, getting rid of this guy would be a good start. Mario was sort of a must have for this. This will be a 100% shot here, and of course now we have the young. I mean, that's my bad, I will say. I just feel awful that it is my bad. Wow, oh man, I just, there's too many characters to upgrade, there's just too many. I'm just gonna get you here, and, and then that won't land, so we'd have to do this, so. Peach, Rabbit Peach, heal up. Get ready for the impending doom, pain. So this does more damage, but I need to lower these guys' health regardless, so let's just make our way over there with this. I don't know, I don't know what to do. I mean, I know what to do and it'll get me through, but it won't do it very clean. Maybe that's what I should hope for and we honeyed our own teammate. And maybe that's where I should just sit back and hope that when we revisit this area, we can do it a whole lot better. Now he's mad, he's gonna get closer. Okay, but that's all he could do. So this turn we do sort of get a bit of a path, path, pass, not a path. Don't tell me Rabbit Peach just got taken out because if so, it's, it's over, it's over. Okay. Can they attack each other? Can the Smasher attack another Smasher and vice versa or whatever? All right, Rabbit Peach, run. Just run away. Run away and never speak of this to anyone. You're gonna go and live your new life Act like you, Mario and Rabbit, well, what are those things? I'm not a rabbit, I'm just, I'm, I'm Sue. I'm an accountant, and you know, that's my life. Because this, this is just too much. What can, and if you were just, if you could run a little bit farther, Rabbit Luigi, things would work out just fine, but you can't. So we gotta find an ultimatum for you, which I guess is to blast this dude in the face for now, maybe even land a critical. He lands a critical like every single time now, which is great, but I can't capitalize on it. Uh, we'll just do this just in case they really are nasty here. Cause that's another thing is that he's really good in this situation because he can simply be protected from all the shield dudes that I always forget their name. So who's the best character to take out here? The Smasher that has 60 health is probably a good start. But when it comes to, why? Why? <laughs> Mario, I need your help here, buddy. I desperately need you. 
because I can't do anything else here. If I hop on the other side of this pipe with a uh, rabbit peach here, and she's gonna get caught up with. Unless I, I have to tuck her away, like right here. But they might go through the pipe. But if they do go through the pipe, then I was done for anyways. And it's now I'm just playing a little game of keep away. That I'm, there's no way I'm gonna win. Like the best bet I can do is send this off to this guy and then focus on taking care of the other dude. But I just, I can't get that opportunity ever because he's always one space away. It's like he knows. Because he does, because he's a robot. Sinking robots. Not like actually a robot, but like a computer design thing to play good. Who is he even hitting? Oh yeah, he's hitting the uh, thing. Why did they do that? Why are they that smart? <laughs> he did take care of one of the smashers for us, so yes he did. But once again, we are too far away. That is so agonizing. It is so agonizing. The best thing we can do then, move back here, where there is nobody around. And who has like the lowest health? He does. So we need to get her as close as we can to him. And then just have like Rabbit Luigi go all in on taking that guy out. Man, oh man. This has just been a menace. Like it, it's getting very frustrating too. Like it's just, it's a tough game, I understand that. But it feels like I'm like, I'm running out of options on like what to actually do. Cause I can get you here and you won't be able to critical this guy, but if we can just find a way to persevere for one turn, for one turn, if we can persevere, we can win. Not get it perfect. It would have been way easier if Mario could have survived for one more turn. I think we could have just won it. Like pretty simply and easily. But we didn't. Can you land a crit? You've been landing those crits all day. You did this time, that actually did it. My boy Rabbit Luigi has been the best choice of anything all day. Eight out of five turns. Dude, we definitely just need to be more powerful. And the best way to do that is to succeed, but we can't succeed because we're not powerful enough. It's an awful cycle. Every treasure has its thorn, that is true. We learned that very, very well today. 900 coin reward isn't too bad, but we would've gotten so much more if we perfected it. Okay, on the 3-8 then, I presume? I mean, first off, we got some spooky pumpkins, which I think are really cute. That's good, at least, you know, the cute aesthetics of the game are calming my nerves. There's 3-8, so we could just charge through it. I'm really tempted to. He's like, whatever to all these secrets, we'll come back for them. But uh, and let's get that, this, that, and this, and that. But we are full health now, which maybe that's just, we needed a fresh start with our health. And maybe now we can get back to perfecting things. Eight there, and that is a new weapon too, whoa. I am both frightened to my core and in all of the artistry and skill involved in carving a pumpkin shaped like a chain jump. Me too, but you know what, I think more power to whoever did it because that is a great way to be spending your time is by expressing your talents, doing something cool that not many other people can do. Okay, whoa, what is this? Brunhild, bring down the final curtain for your opponents with an explosive area or area from this combative contralto. Interesting, so we finally have an improved ducky for her. I think more importantly, we need to upgrade Rabbit Luigi. Maybe we could go back to doing the Luigi Peach combo. Uh, weapon selection for Rabbit Luigi. Well, that's the, that's the problem, right? It, is that he doesn't have any upgrades available. He does for us this thing, so we might as well. Because right now this is 70 to 80. It's only a five damage boost, so that's a lot for for how many coins we're using here. Um, Maybe we should try burn this time. Okay. When it comes to the skill tree, we can increase this, which is what we were looking to do, right? Okay. And then we'll save up for some extra damage there. When it comes to Rabbit Luigi, we can increase his damage now, that's good. There you go, so now he does max damage, 160 per dash, he's doing two dashes, so that's what? Uh, 320, a 320 there. So now we need to increase the vamp damage of it, um, drain more health points, so you can get some more of that health back. When it comes to Peach, what is she waiting for? She could get more damage there. And, oh, the range. Let's go ahead and bump up the range, and then next time, we gotta bump up her uh, movement. And same thing for like everybody else. Can we bump up your movement? We can. We just gotta do it, you know? If we can bump up their movement at all, it just seems like it's so necessary at this point for them to have as much movement as possible. Uh, Luigi could probably, because he has 235 points. Definitely can. 
Maybe a bit of a waste here and there, but uh, we're doing what we can. <laughs> and we'll do that. There you go. I don't know when we'll next use Luigi, but when we do, oh yeah, he'll be running. He'll be running. Okay, so we could either save up a 100 points for an extra 30 damage here, even though that doesn't feel very necessary. I think it'd be better just to do this as well. There we go. Our characters are as ready as they're gonna get. We got ourselves a new weapon that we didn't buy. <laughs> Let's go. 3-8, just destroy it. We got this, it's in the bag. We've been prepared ourselves for a graveyard. It's cold, wet, and unfortunately exactly where we need to be. However, I'm confused. The only interesting thing here is the clock tower on the other side of the graveyard. All these bolded words. I guess we have to get to the other side of the graveyard to the clock tower. Loud phone! Why is my phone so loud? It has never been that loud before. Oh my gosh. Uh, how can it possibly help to get us to the get the moon? Wait, how can it possible, possibly help us get the moon to rise twice in the same night? Well, it's a clock tower. What do you think? Well, I guess we'll find out together. Whee! So, we're almost at 800 coins again. We're going into our first battle, nice and fun. Reach area, okay, that's that's actually a breath of fresh air, to be honest with you. We've been just destroying enemy after enemy, and that's always been the goal. But, uh... Let's try it. I'm trying to think if there's really anything else I could do, but there really isn't. So, um, let's take a look at this map. Maybe I should've pulled up the tactic cam, but I can do that now. Um, we got a spooky hopper and a spooky Valkyrie. Then we'll f over to here, we have not many enemies, actually, another spooky and another hopper and Valkyrie. That's what they are. But we're going, where are we going? Holy cow, this level is huge. Hmm, I'm definitely gonna get lost a time or two. It looks like we have to go through at least one of these guys, but they're not too bad to go through, you know? I just wish we were close enough to dash at least one of them. We are not, but we can make it work. Actually, I think, yeah, we could definitely make this work very well. Because I could really do a good number on these guys if I could reach the pipe. Never mind then. Uh, we could get Peach over there relatively easily though. No, we can't, because she can't reach the pipe. This is why it's important to increase the distance of everything all the time. Okay, she can't do much with either. And Mario can't reach, so it's up to you, Rabbit Luigi, to blast these dudes. Hurt yourself a little bit, but hey, it's fine. You might even do some burn damage. We need to do more damage to the Valkyrie than we do need to do the Hopper, and so do that. Burn the both of them, which is great. Oh no, I got burned too, so that's not so good. We're just all running around ridiculously. You stop dropping rolling, I love it. Okay, weaken these guys. I think it'll be our best bet. Maybe he's close enough that Mario can attack him now? Yes, okay, at least it worked out a little bit there. Ooh, do it. Hopefully, oh, darn, not quite what I was looking for. A little too little. That's fine. So the boos are gonna move around. Hopefully some are not too menacing. Yeah, that's fine. I mean, maybe the boos are the ticket. Where can the boo spawn you? Literally anywhere, any random space. Could you run into a boo and then he could just bring you like, okay, you're going to the end. I guess that really could happen. Maybe it'd be more strategic here to try to depend on the RNG. Go ahead and just listen to meowing cats in the background. Oh, oof, ooh, not fun, come on. He has three health and out of bounds again. Is he taking out already? He's pretty darn close to it. What are you doing? Please not anything ridiculous. It's just they get to go so far because this game makes me want to scream sometimes. Like, what, 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 what? I don't understand. I don't understand what I could have done except for play extremely defensively, but then they'll catch up to me and do the same thing just to multiple of them. I don't understand. I swear that last time Mario couldn't reach the pipe. I don't know, that was weird, okay. Well, then I'll get you here. And, and then, I swear that he couldn't reach the pipe last time. I really can't believe that he can now. I don't know, that's really weird to me. Uh, 
we'll go ahead and yeah sure we'll do this maybe I'll land actually back over here that might be not be too bad and then we'll damage boost rabbit Luigi so he can blast some of these guys if it's necessary it might not be necessary I mean I guess it can never hurt right the only thing is that if there's any other enemies that pop up, I might want Hero Sight, but at this point in the game, Hero Sight's not gonna like one hit KO anybody, so it's not gonna stop anybody from doing anything awful. And I guess the best thing Peach could do then is to go this way, but I don't know if she really wants to or not. Um, I mean, it might be good just to distract a couple of them this way. We'll try it. I just, I really don't know, but we'll give it a shot. And if it works, it works. If it doesn't, it doesn't. Ready, catch. Okay, it criticaled. Not enough to take anybody out, but they get really darn close, and now if they move, we can smack him again. Look at Peach being the best character of all time. Okay, who should I smack then? This one, so Mario won't get hurt. Boom. That's really good. Not much defense left for anybody because of it. But I think we'll make it work. I wish we were close enough to use the hammer. But then we wouldn't have been able to damage boost anybody. We'll just take care of you. Boom. And we we might as well weaken this guy just in case he does like get a lucky crit and makes everything unfortunate. I really am curious to see if maybe the booze could get us really lucky and just get us an easy win for this one. That'd be the nicest thing. So move. Yeah, that's what I wanted. Thank you. Goodbye. So these guys are out of here now. Out of my life. That's good. So yeah, it looks like it was good to reduce his damage because that hurt a good amount even then. So, I can't hit you from here. But we can just make you go through the pipe. Go through the pipe again. No, I misclicked it. How many times do I want to do that in today's episode? Way too many. Way too many. Mario can slide attack him. No, he can't. Okay. Whatever. Go through here and... If I make him go through here, and he really can't do too much more than like end up here, and, which isn't changing anybody's life, or life, live. <laughs> I don't know. So really, I just want him to get as far over there as possible, so what's better, better than that is to hop off of him, because it will make him a few blocks closer. All right, I'll give it a shot, and then we'll pull up his hero sight, and that might make things work out. This would've worked out way better no matter what, if, um, I mean, I guess not. I was thinking if we got Luigi through that, but I thought that was with the assumption there was a pipe that would put me in a better situation over there, but there really isn't. So, is this gonna be a crit? And it gives me the fancy camera, so it will be. So at least we got that guy out of there. Rabbit Luigi can't hit anybody because there's now no more enemies. What is this gonna be, a peekaboo? I think? Almost positive? That this is a peekaboo, it is. Where is he gonna go off to? Somewhere unfortunate. What do you do? Those are only do too much with it. So we need to get way over there now. What's the best way to do that? I think, uh, first off, we need to move Peach around. Would it be quicker for her to do this? Yeah, it would be. It's not really that much progress, but well, what are you gonna do? All right, now uh, Mario could go through here and and end up about here. And I mean, if I if I have him set up here, 50% chance of hitting that guy over there. But same thing here? It says so, I'm gonna trust it. I don't know if I should trust it. Oh, wow, okay. I can't believe that lands, but some other shots don't. Uh, other shots will say it's out of range. Oh, wow, we can't get up there. Okay. Well, you know what? Maybe this will be a time where we can see where the boo takes us. Oh, we can blast you too. Okay, get out of here. Catch. Oh, boom. 84 damage. That's nice. That's nice. Okay, end the turn. What more can we really do? Oh, we got really backtracked. But it ain't the worst thing in the world. Definitely could have been worse. Because Mario might be able to win this turn. I'm almost positive. Unless these guys can really make some moves happen and like destroy Mario this turn. But they'll have to get rid of this barrier first and foremost if they want to do it this way. 
he's gonna teleport somewhere over there. He'll be able to hit Mario full on, but once again, as long as they don't destroy Mario. I mean, we've seen some awesome stuff, um, awesome, awesome and awful stuff happen in today's episode. It is very possible that, that he could get taken out. He did not, but he could have. Mario, could you possibly go through, go through and win? Just run, please, just run. Run, 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 run. Yay! We actually perfected something. I thought I would never see this again. <laughs> oh my gosh, maybe this is my combo. Maybe this is my combo characters I should just use and love forever. Hooray! So that was a perfect, that was a one battle one. Why couldn't the other ones be a one battle level? I'll never understand. I'll never ever understand. But we're going closer to the clock tower now. Very close to it actually. I thought that was gonna be more of a journey towards this thing. Interesting, this contraption looks to be linked to the clock tower. Is it a puzzle? Probably. Most things in the overworld are a puzzle. Yes it is, okay, it's just another light puzzle. Hmm. Lots of different ways to do things there. But probably only one answer. Perhaps by turning the clock's hands backwards will force the moon back in the sky? Sounds like the type of nonsensical rabbit ease logic to the Mushroom Kingdom is overrun with, and therefore probably worth a shot. Well, at least he's getting used to it, if not anything else. Let's get ourselves a free whatever it is. It is music. And we can get started with this. Where do we put this? Um, Over here. So there's only one flashlight this time, and our goal is to get it where exactly? I guess into this little hole here? Hmm. But there's definitely more than one hole. Well maybe first I need to unlock some other stuff. I think I need to unlock this to unlock another statue. Okay, I think that's what has to be accomplished here. So, could we possibly, we need to do it in a way, where if we raised a blue one that would do that, do that, knock it back here, and then we'd have a problem. So, because we can only make one move right now. I mean, if we only if we can only make one move, we should probably just place it anywhere and everywhere and just sort of see what happens. Okay, so that one did get one of them, okay. Nice stuff. So now with this one, I could instead raise green and get this. Okay, that was a little easier than I was anticipating. But now we have three of them, and with three of them, I think we'll be able to po properly get somewhere. So it's not this combo. I mean, yeah, there's four different colors here. And they can only be one active space. So yeah, it's just a matter of trial and error. <laughs> like I could have, I just, I, I just would rather trial and error because it takes less time. But it's working, the moon! It's, it's reversing its course! Why? Why a rabid physics like this? I never want to go to a rabid world. It seems horrifying. What is happening? Oh, the moon door! It is opening! What a surprise! So that is, that looks to be the boss fight over there. Does that mean we have completed all the normal levels? What a view. Beautiful yet ominous. Oh, and we got another letter. Is this gonna be rude? Aha, our cryptic colleague calls to congratulate us. Whoa, <laughs> the moon gate is open and Mr. Tom Van awaits. Soon you'll be out of the picture entirely. <laughs> when I wrote out of the picture, I meant doing great. Also, when I wrote mwahaha, <laughs> I meant congratulations. Also, when I wrote mwahaha, <laughs> the second time I meant uh, you guys are really cool and I like you a lot and definitely don't wish you any harm. <laughs> This guy's weird. This has to be Bowser Jr. just writing the letters, right? Well, it would seem that our quest is almost at an end. Let's not keep our savior waiting any longer than necessary. Peepo, sometimes you get like swooned very easily. So how can we get that block down? Um, I'm actually not entirely sure about that one. I mean, maybe I could take one of these. I cannot, oh okay, so it has nothing to do with these because I can't move these anymore. I mean, I guess technically that would undo the whole thing we did with the moon, so might be a good idea that we don't move that. But uh, we got 2,500 coins, so we'll definitely spend before our next battle, that is for sure. 
But for now, I'm, I'm in better moods now. Now that things are working out a little bit better. Hello. <laughs> you remind me of Snoopy. <laughs> it's like a spooky Snoopy. You'll catch the Red Baron. Oh, yeah, yeah, look at that. It's a Snoopy reference. You'll catch the Red Baron one of these days. Okay. Well, oh, a mini game one. Okay. Free weapon. That might be fun. That's another thing that can lift my spirits because there might still be one more battle that we have to go through before we get to the boss. Who knows? I'm going to get all the way to the boss store and that'll probably be today's episode. But I got more things to worry about here. And let's do this. Get across to here. And I don't know. Am I doing the right thing? Um, I guess not. No, I gotta go through here. Oh, I see, I see. Okay, I've definitely messed some stuff up here. I've made some major mistakes. Oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh. What would I do properly here? And I'm still, okay, I'll have to restart. Yeah, I had to restart. What I don't like is it loads you all the way back out here. And just like, why not have a quick little restart button? Save me a couple extra seconds. The game doesn't have to load all that extra stuff. Okay. I think I understand. So put that there. Nope, put it there. Run over here. Get this coin. Get that. Put it here. Get this coin. Pick that up. Put it here. Get it again. Grab this coin. Push it. Grab this. Grab that. Get it! <laughs> Dang it. That was it, though. We had it. It's just I gotta do it quicker. Go, 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 yeah! That one is just overall really challenging. Like even when I, I knew what to do and how to do it, I still only had like three seconds left over, but hey, we got ourselves a new weapon. This one will be the the Bozo Boom for Rabbit Luigi, or no, Rabbit Yoshi. Uh, the greatest show on Earth, smacking your enemies upside the dome. What? I have no idea what that's supposed to mean. Uh, Well, let's just get out of here. <laughs> Whenever you want, game. Whenever you want. That was a little weird. But we're gonna go. I think that there might be more battles, and if there are, we'll battle them. But if not, we'll be ready to uh, face the boss in the next episode. We got new weapons to try out. We got plenty of coins to buy them. Hopefully we can't, we still can't break this stuff, so we can't go down that line. So there'll definitely be some revisiting that will have to be done. Yeah, but we're properly looped around now. So let's run off this way. And what shall we find? Bunches of coins, bunches of oats. Not really, no, no oats here. Yeah, we've, we've gone through this centerpiece so many times in this world. It's a little topsy-turvy. And then, yeah, this is the right way. It's so easy to get confused, but we are indeed going the correct way. And we have the moonlight. Shining, I don't, I'm not even referencing a song, I'm just singing. Okay, well, I'm going crazy because of how difficult the game's been. <laughs> and it's been a very long episode, so I think we'll finish it off there in the next episode of Mario and Robert, Rabbids Kingdom Battle, we'll take on the boss fight of the Treacherous World 3. But for now, thank you guys so much for watching today's episode of Mario Plus Rabbids Kingdom Battle. If you watched this point of video, make sure you comment Zebra Ghost, so I know you've watched at the end and that you are a Zebra-tastic viewer. Want to watch more episodes like this one? Feel free to click on any of the ones on your screen right now or subscribe to join the Zebra Herd. Either way, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.